We see Mildred really in all of her glory, coming to Kyle, attacking Kyle, trying to sort of suck the life out of him. She starts to drain him in a way that I thought was really cool. She's very indulgent, and as soon as she gets on Kyle, you can tell whatever's inside of this old lady knows how to do this. She just starts with this sexual sort of grasp of Kyle's soul, and it's like she's not going to stop. She's not going to take time. She's just going to turn him into a raisin, and she just goes for it. I've seen what you've been doing, you and Kyle Barnes, to my compatriots. Ugh. It has to stop. I think anytime you're working on a show, you want to have those moments during the show where you're like, oh god, I didn't expect to see that. And that's Brent Spiner as Sydney uh, carving a pentagram into uh, uh, Phil Glenister's uh, Reverend Anderson. It's a, a really surprising moment, I think, I hope. Remember this warning. It looked amazing, the, the actual prosthetic, you know. I sent a picture to my wife. It ends with a shot that is a snapshot from the comic book. It is this, this gruesome tableau of Anderson sprawled on the floor, shirt ripped open, a bloody pentagram carved in his chest. And that image of that is one of my favorite moments that we did this season. I think it's a big moment for both of those characters, and, and that scene is kind of a tipping point for a tremendous amount of conflict and story moving forward. Seeing it all come together, it's exactly what I envisioned. It's the thing that I thought no one would let me do.